Owen Akwan, popularly known as Riz Owen, aka Dr. Fish, um, the CEO of Grace and Is Aqua World. I'm from Aqua Ibom State, from a technical local government area. We're five in number. I'm the third in my family. I scored at Amadebele Investors area. Uh, that's where I obtained my primary schooling certificate and then for my secondary school I attended God's Time Comprehensive Zaria and then uh, came back to ABU for my degree program. I started with um, Agric Engineering but I couldn't cope so I ran away. I finished from Agric Extension and Management. An aquarist, and an aquarist means I, I build aquariums um, basically into ornamental and exotic fishes. Now, I started aquarium 19 years ago. Um, by God's grace, this is my 19th year. 23rd of December will be my 19th year in aquarium. I started perfecting aquarium 2012 after my youth service. Now, what got me inspired into aquarium? I I love nature. Some time ago, I used to go behind area BZ in Amad Bele Investors area to catch fishes in um, small rivers and stuff like that. And then I'll bring them home and then cage them inside a plastic container. And then there's this guy that used to sell fishes inside um, this wine bottle. And then I saw it and my mom bought it for me. It was the genesis of everything. Now, I got perfected in it in 2012. Okay, I got. I had to partner with someone. If I make aquarium, then I just make little aquarium, and then I drop it at his shop to um, sell. Um, his name was Marshall. So the name of the company was um, When Marsh Aqua World. But it came to a time that he was not contributing anything, and then I had to still pay him, give him his 40%. And then in 2012, I had to break out and um, got the name Grace and Is Aqua World. I found favor in that name because a lot of people think that the Grace is a female, is a lady's name. So when sometimes when people People call me to um, patronize me or to get my product. They say they want to talk to my madam. Okay, don't talk to the owner of the company. And then I say, I will tell them, I'm the owner. I say, no, it's Grace. I don't talk to you. Okay, uh, Grace is not around. Um, the person in charge. So let's talk. And then we strike business. <music> I build my aquariums myself. I build my rocks myself. There are, there are things we call corals in aquarium. Um, we import them from China, but they are very expensive. So we had to go online to learn how to build it. And I had to learn how to build it myself because you could just get a small rock like my hand and you hear 30K, 30,000. So I had to start learning how to build rocks on, by myself. And um, I do my plumbing myself. I have someone who does the carpentry work for me and I do my lightning myself too. Now, I, apart from that, that's, this is my major. The aquarium is my major, my major uh, the major thing I do in, in Grace and Isaac World. But um, um, two years ago, 20, 18, 20, yeah, 2018 to be precise, I had to go into 3D, everything that is 3D. Now on the 3D floor, the 3D ceilings, the um, wall panel, um, concrete stampede, and then wallpaper, photo mural. Yeah, there are five courses. I, I attended the course at Kano and I was there for three weeks. I had to learn it because now it's part of my stuff. I, I, I love deco. I love fashion fashion my own fashion is not the fashion of the kind of clothes my fashion is fashion of interior interior deco and stuff like that so i had to go to kano and then learn all this thing and i i after then i i had to stay for a year to perfect it by myself and then i started last year april i started um teaching um young folks here in zaria i moved to um suleja moved to abuja nasarawa um uh, Enugu Sokoto I had to go around to teach people how to install do the 3D floor, the acidic floor, the um, concrete stampede, wallpaper, photo mural, 3D ceiling and stuff like that. But my major, what I do basically is the building of aquariums. That's what I do.
aquarium is a glass tank where we store fish is exotic fish now we have different kind of fish basically i i deal with 40 different species of fish from gold fish down to angel fish oranda um blackmore um calico gourami kissing gourami we have platy platys are kind of fishes that um give back to their young ones alive they don't lay egg we have bala shark we have red tail shark we have um, long tail nose we have puffer fish and i know you've watched Pira, um, piranha fish uh, piranha that film yeah that fish is real so we, all those kind of fishes are all exotic fish now we can use it to beautify a house you can use it in the hospital especially in the dentist where um you remove people teeth where they remove teeth now you use it to calm the nerves down nerves of um, um even though we know that it's still going to be painful but at least you keep watching it keeps staring at the aquarium while the this thing the the dentist get to remove the teeth and then um we install it at a workplace to calm the nerves of um workers down when you see the fishes um swimming you hear the splash of water you um there are different effects even the glowing lights all these things have different effects on human beings it's been used for um, um hypertensive patients like my dad i had to make an aquarium for my dad and i kept it close to his chair and he loves looking at it anytime he just lie down and then puts the, the pillow this um chair pillow opposite directly opposite the aquarium so that he can always watch in, in anytime the the light is off and then there's no light for him to watch tv he's watching his um, fishes swimming in the aquarium so i if, if a fish is gone i have to replace some kind of different fishes for him so that it's okay this is a different thing and i have to inquire i have to learn more i have to know more about this fish why is this fish like this why is this fish swimming upside down we actually have some f kind of fishes that don't swim like this they swim upside down so instead of it swimming like this it's upside down swimming and then uh, stuff like that we have um, something like pleco fish Pleco fish is the kind of fish that um, when you put it in, a, in an aquarium, what it does is it picks dirty from um, around the aquariums and then gather it in one side for it to come and pack it out. So that's what it does. It does the work of, um, of a filter, of an aquarium filter. So aquariums have different benefits for human beings and then for your surrounding. You can't keep an aquarium in, a, in, in, if I keep an aquarium outside my house, anybody that passes will want to stop by to look at it. One. They will think that my fishes are artificial. They will think they are rubber fishes because they've not seen those kind of fishes. When you see some kind of fish like blackmore, it has a very a big fan tail. You see oranda, you see kissing gourami. Kissing gourami gets to play when visitors are around. They start kissing. So it gets to attract and then what is happening. And once you see people around, two, three people around, they start kissing and stuff like that. So they have all this benefit. They calm nerves down. That's why you see um, the white men, when they want to think, when they want to think, they go to the riverside and then sit, look at the river, think, just look and keep thinking and they're writing and stuff like that. A lot of people go to the, um, a lot of people go to uh, the aqu big aquariums where we have uh, in, in, the, in the US, we have in London, we have in Dubai, you just go there and don't just watch fishes and then calm your nerves down. That's one basic thing that an aquarium does. It calm you down and then you get to learn a lot of things. If I drop an aquarium in, in a kindergarten school or a primary school, what, the what I want the children to learn from the aquarium is one, to learn how to identify colors. So therefore, I'm going to put 12 different colors of fishes there. They get to identify different colors. And then I help them, I give them responsibility that after two weeks, they'll have to change the water. Then another responsibility that they'll have to feed the fish and stuff like that. It's a source of companion. I love fishes. I love, I call, if you, if you go through my status, you go through my Instagram page, I call my fishes B. Fishes are my love, fishes are my lovers, and stuff like that. So basically, that's what we do in Grace and Isaac World. My advice, or will I say, let me encourage young entrepreneurs over there, out there. So I want to advise, and I want to encourage um, young entrepreneurs out there. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. If you're baking, keep baking. If you're sewing, keep sewing. If you're making shoes, keep making shoes. If you're into aquariums, keep doing it. Whatsoever you do, 
just be passionate about it that in your sleep you're sleeping aquarium you're drinking aquarium you are eating aquarium whatever you're doing you're in the toilet you're browsing aquarium if you check my followers on instagram i don't have good followers if you check my i don't have good followers like everybody about there are people that have to do with have to have to do with um, one business or the other or fishing now if uh, um, um commitment again you have to be committed keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it and then have a vision have this this is what i want to now I have, I, I, a time came that i had to start rejecting works a time came that i had to start rejecting works and then that was when i had to train young people around okay if i'm no more in zaria who is going to stand in for me and that's when i had to that was last year since 2001, I did not teach anybody till 2019. I started teaching people how to build an aquarium. Um, I started with um, SAID class in NYC camp, Abuja. So I had like 80 students there. And after the camp, they've been following me up and we do work together. I just want to encourage you, keep doing what you're doing. Whatever I find that your hand doing, do it well. Whatever I put your hand to do, do it well. If you want to be a thief, thief well. If you want to be an entrepreneur, do it well, please. Do it well that when they wake you and they tell you this is, I want to bake cake of so, so this thing, you know this is it. I want to make sure of this. You don't have to start measuring, you don't have to start thinking, how can I do this, how can I do this? And then don't be scared of handling big projects. Don't be scared of handling big projects. They have invited me for um, other works that I did not do, I posted on my page, I saw it, I liked it, and I, I had to google on how to make this um, particular, this, um, particular aquarium, and then when I posted it on my page, they called me, can you build this, and I said yes, I can build it, and then I had to go get source for materials, and then build it, and it was just like, I have built it before, but that was my first time. So I just want to encourage everybody out there, whatever you find you want to do, to do, do it well. Be passionate about what you're doing and then be committed to what you're doing. So, um, by God's grace, God has been faithful for the past 19 years. I have had many challenges and the truth is I have i have not regretted being an aquarist i had to drop my certificate because of this i have I, when i graduated after my service i dropped my i tried looking for work and then um, it was not forthcoming and then i knew that i was supposed to go back to what i know how to do better and the truth is i have gone places i have met people i have met people if you know there are some people that just people and then there are people that are people yeah true <laughs> through this um uh um like sammy said empire or world yeah it's a world yeah so i want to thank god for everything god has been faithful for the past 19 years by god's grace 20th um, um 23rd 2020 i'm going to be celebrating my 20 years anniversary in it and it's going to be in abuja and um, spire tv will be around and others <laughs> thank you